Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as Haran. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we are unfortunately unable to currently defeat the Egyptians and Saudi Arabia. We, try we tried at the end of the last episode, it didn't really work out exactly the plans. But we will return, for sure, to take over our rifle claims over the rest of Iraq. Because once you are done, well once this is done and we get the legacy of... This will get 2% recruit population, 15% stability, and at that point, we can start going for some of the other, um, conquest. Azerbaijan, we cannot get until, uh, Germany and France are at war. Bahrain, we'd also get that from Saudi Arabia. So we don't actually need to justify here. Because if, we, if we, we get claims, but then we still have to justify a war against, uh, Saudi Arabia, which might give them a little bit of a heads up. So if we do Bahrain, the jewel of the Gulf, we might be able to go to war with them... Without having to actually demand it, or without having to justify the war, which which should make the AI less angry at us. And by, by that, I mean they, they should be less willing to uh, put troops on the border. So that means we really have two options. We can go, we can't do uh, Armenia, we can't do Georgia. We'll have to go for Afghanistan first, because it actually does give us a cost of belly. So, it was nice knowing you Saudi Arabia, but right now though, we're going to go over to Afghanistan. Get ready to pull all our troops and invade up to Kabul. So they have 5 to 18 division. Which is a decent amount. Uh, it is 1938, so you know what? Let's go for... Da -da -da -da. Uh, yeah, an industry tech. Seems okay. We're still missing out on a little bit of tungsten, but I really don't think that's that big of a deal. Because after this, because Russia... Okay, they're not at war with Elash Orda. They were uh, at war with Elash Orda. At the end of the last episode, because we had to reload of like a month or two back. They're not currently at war, but I'm sure they will be. Yeah, right now. Speak of the devil and he shall arrive. So it does mean that if we want to be able to take over Turkestan, we'll need to attack them sooner rather than later. If we can somehow, well, rush the war against Afghanistan. And then immediately rush a war against Tajikistan. We can maybe get that to work. I think you were Tajikistan. Russia does have a claim. And again, it could get us to war with the Russians, which is dangerous, to say the least. But your cost is belly. It is only to... Because it's secure to Central Asia. It's just to attack the Islamic Federation of Turkestan. It doesn't say anything about... Um, Attacking whoever owns the territory. It looks like it just attacks the tag of Turkestan. Which should mean that if we were to annex them and it's like not release them as like a puppet state, we should theoretically be able to not get invaded. Again, theoretically. But we'll, we'll see if that actually can actually hold up. Uh, we don't need war propaganda right now. War propaganda is actually not as good if you're not actually at war with anybody. I think it only grows at 1%. With you, right? Yeah, instead of 2% if it's actually against a specific country. But you got about a month until you are ready to go. Saudi Arabia, you're in the Cairo Pact. Like, I'm sure you're building up more and more troops. Well, the best... I'm trying to think, what would the best case scenario be? Maybe if Egypt goes to war with Ethiopia. Like, Somalia joins the Cairo Pact, which they probably are going to do. It's going to be one more country to deal with. But I'm not too, too worried about that. But if Ethiopia and Egypt go to war, if Egypt has all their troops distracted in the south, and then at that point we immediately invade, I think that'd be the best way for this to work. Okay, Guatemala has won their war. Warrior of Fate, yeah, you're trying to fight Ethiopia now. Is that... Gather allies? No, so that's not actually declaring war on them quite yet. How many troops does Ethiopia have? 4 to 15? Could they survive a two-front war against Somalia and Egypt? And I guess technically also Saudi Arabia. Maybe? Maybe. But again, what's it going to do? It's also going to drain Egyptian resources, which is going to be uh, important for us. It's like, I don't want to necessarily go to war with you. You could do cons consolidation of new lands. Because that'll get all of this to be cores in an occupied territory. But at the same time, it would allow you to maybe align yourself. 
Like, if me and Egypt were allies and fought Saudi Arabia, I'd be okay with that. Even though I did take over all of Syria, like, all this region, like, I... I took, like, all of this land, but I just went to Egypt. I mean, we got three... We got four states out of it. We, like, we got this little territory off the war of the Ottomans. Even though, again, I think we should have at least taken over Baghdad. But for right now, it's fine. We got, we got the occupied territories. They're very upset with us, actually. You're on civilian oversight. You're growing extremely fast. Let's throw in the secret police. Why are you so high? Base value, controller at peace. Dude, gar do I not have manpower for garrisons? I have 32,000 there. Am I missing rifles for garrisons? I might be missing rifles. You know, give them high priority for now. I don't want these areas, surprisingly, to rebel, uh, rebel against us. Resistance strength is 66.8. We did bypass this. Do I, have, do I have claims over here? No, I'm assuming I don't. Because I did not try to push the claims. So we'll just have to do Bahrain Gulf of the Jewel of the Gulf afterwards. Hopefully Afghanistan's not too upset with us. Like, how is resistance here? Like, you're at 15%. Even though the target's super high. Civilian oversight scaled to 0% due to gears and fulfillment. I mean, we did occupy this territory for much longer than the Egyptians did. So I'm assuming there's actually reset. Target at 61. So it should decay a little bit. But not by that much. And we're going to get another 10% once we're actually back at war with the, uh, with Afghanistan. Is there anything else I can do to make them a little bit more willing to cooperate? Because you are not going up, like, at all. Like, compliance... Compliance gain is disabled. That seems pretty bad, actually. So no matter what, they are just not... Like, what's your compliance at? You got some at 0%. You got some at 5%. Yeah, so it's not an ideal situation. But with Afghanistan here, what we can do is I'm fine letting Afghanistan take a few territories here. It'll make sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this southern flank open for Afghanistan to flood troops into this area. The AI is going to want to start putting troops down there, and that'll actually open up some space for us to move in. If that makes any sense. Basically, Afghanistan's going to come down here. I'm fine with them taking a handful of these territories. They're not really good at all anyways. Do they even have any resources? A little bit of steel, a little bit of oil. But if they move troops down here, it's going to extend the Afghani front line too much, and they're going to be spread too thin, and then we can just punch a hole straight through, let's say, uh, let's say against this one militia. Rush cavalry straight into Kabul, Kadu, uh, Kandaz, and Kandahar. Take all those cities. Be a pretty uh, good victory for us. After that... I mean, I would like to... Because you also give us an annexation, but it's just specifically against Turkestan as a tag. So I'm... How many troops do you have? 4 to 16? Like, I would like to try to take some territory off of you. I'm, I'm, I am worried about the Russians, of course. They are... To be a little bit feared. And I think we're just going to attack you. I know I don't have any allies, but that's fine. We can't do this because we're not at peace, so... Turkestan... Might just not be in the cards for now. Let's get the extent of conscription for free. Yeah, so Afghanistan is going to throw troops down here. Again, that's fine. It's actually what we want. And then we have a smashing right here. And go straight to the heart of the country. Because again, there's really no resources down here that matter too much. But do not... Do not go down there. This is completely fine. We might lose some, like, progress. But it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make a difference for us. It doesn't actually... I think negatively, negatively affect the country at all. Like, I don't even think you lose war support for having this happen. 
Getting yeah, some more troops down south. But once they spread their line out too thin, that's when we make our move. Uh, we will extend a little bit, like, here. But for now... When are you leaving? It'll be gone in one day. You guys attack here, and then you guys attack here. So do something like this. As long as one of these areas breaks... It's really all we care about. Because as soon as one of them break, we can flood our way through. Like, how much, um, 100%, you have 3 to 21 divisions. I mean, it is a lot, for sure. But it's still working. Like, are any of you guys trying to leave? The answer is no on that one. Yeah, so you can kind of keep going down here. Again, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Okay, Lash Orda has capitulated. And I'm sure Rush is going to immediately attack Turkestan. So our ambitions there are limited. Yeah, like they're breaking apart. Again, yeah, they're moving down to the south, but it doesn't matter. Because what you're going to do is you're going to march straight to Kabul. And that was our primary objective. Now, you guys go here. One of you guys go down here. You will make your way to Kanduns. Kandaz. Whatever, however you pronounce it, that's where you're going. Because even if they control almost all of our territory, in terms of trying to capitulate Afghanistan... It doesn't matter how much it doesn't matter how much of they of their of our territory they control. Uh, you can go here. That's fine. How about you just attack this guy as well? So far, the plan works out perfectly, which is exactly what I was expecting. Yemen's yeah, cancel on aggression pact. I mean, there are definitely risk involved as well. Obviously. Yeah, Russia's clear war on uh, Turkestan, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? How many territories? Do you got two provinces to get to uh, Kabul? It's going to take you about eight days. What are you doing? You don't know what you're doing. We'll go like this. We'll rush these guys down. It's also going to make sure these guys are not connected to their capital. You're leaving. When are you leaving? You'll be leaving in five days. Small you join the Cairo Pact. Again, it's somebody else that we're going to have to fight in the future. You're about to lose Kabul. Which might... Because you're worth one victory point. One... Vi okay, we, we have three victory points. So three victory points is about 30%. So each victory point is about 10. So... If I take you, that should put us actually down to... That should actually get us to uh, victory. We did lose 10,000 uh, 10, men here, but I think Kabul might be enough. Let's get tribal appeasement that gives a little bit more war support. So Ukraine has gone nationalist. Don Kubin is part of the Reich's pact. That's actually kind of... It might be dangerous. Okay, so with Kabul down, gets him down to 31%. Our main objective now is Kandahar. And is there an easy way to get to Kandahar? Like, where are you going? You're going down south. Where are you going? You're also going down towards the south? Yeah, so you march here. You go here. If you can actually get to that province and attack this guy. Because I'm sure our troops are a little bit slower. Okay, fantastic. You go here. We don't need any blue troops really within this area. 
And you are still making maneuvers down here, which I'm actually kind of surprised by. Uh, and what maneuvers you guys are doing? Nothing too, too, uh, crazy as far as I can tell. And again, we want this here. Did you... Are you free? You are free, but you just attack this guy. And now that you have been taken, please stop coming over here. You come to that province. Essentially split the country in half. And of course, we don't want to not have connection to our, of, to our capital, of course. That would, as far as I'm concerned, be bad. Yeah, so let's fight you guys here. You guys are making manu uh, maneuvers. And you're still moving. One day, one hour. You'd be there in four days, four hours. All of you here, rush to Kandahar. And we can't let... Th yeah, they're going to try to take back Kabul. But we cannot allow them to do that. For the obvious reason of that, uh, we need Kabul. Yeah, you fight this guy. When are you going to be there? Five days. You'll be in that province in five days as well. We need to get you guys to stop moving as much. But again, yeah, if you want to keep expanding this way, by all means, the AI doesn't really know how to properly victory condition, uh, victory point rush. Which only benefits us. Because you're running in the wrong direction. And once you're here, attack this guy. Please keep attacking. Actually, force attack. I know it's not good for our actual manpower. Like, we have lost more troops in Afghanistan. But, I mean, we are attacking into a major mountainous country. So casualties are kind of to be expected. Yes, you're running this way. I wish I wasn't force attacking anymore, but... You guys are doing a fine job. Yeah, and again, they can move up to the north. It's, it doesn't actually affect us too much. As long as we can take Kandahar. It's going to take you nine days to get there. It is quite a bit. You move down south. You move here. See if you can actually cut these guys off from the uh, the rest of the country. Same with, like, right here. We got nine days. We got some troops moving over. Keep on attacking. Like, I don't know how you're moving, to be quite honest, because you shouldn't be able to move. Because your province is under attack? Okay, so it is 1939. 1939. Let's get... Can I afford weapons too? I can't really afford weapons too. So, with, if we cannot get that, we should... Research. Um, You know what, let's get a land auction going. Decision available, yeah, we don't need to worry about you right now. And other than that, like, none of you are super important. I don't think we need to go search by requirement. Probably don't need to change any of our economic laws. I mean, let's get a battlefield support guy just in case. Yeah, I don't know how this guy was able to move. But once we take Kandahar, that are 26% now. Keep attacking this province, though. You absolute bastards. Ninety-five. We have cut these guys off in half, which is nice. But of course, you're going to immediately try to. Uh... When are you going to get there? You're going to get there in seven days. We're going to get there in three days, so we will be there first. Get some more surrounds going. And yeah, you're at least now connected in two different ways, so you should be safe. 
Houses are still rising. 24,000. Well, you have to take heart, and that should be the end of the war. Again, a little bit too many casualties, I would say. But, still went. I still think went okay. So, Afghanistan, we will make them into a beautiful puppet state. There we go. So, we now have our first little puppet. We could attack Tajikistan. They have 3 to 13 divisions. Well, like... It's going to take us how many days? I mean, we still have to finish Tribal Appeasement. So, it's going to take us about 45 days for the Costas Belly to even be ready. Which is... You're not actually at war yet. You're consolidating your new lands. Which is going to make a lot more territory core. Which is going to give you a ton of manpower. How is resistance here, by the way? Ah, it's less bad than it was before. So, that I would consider that to be positive get better artillery get tanks you know what let's at least let's go for research speed i guess that seems like an okay spot for us to begin because you guys should be going to war this year which would allow us to free up by the way how many problems is this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so we have just enough to cover the entire frontier. We'll send you guys to that front line there. So I think what we're going to do is maybe just wait for Egypt to be at war with Ethiopia. And use that as our time to attack. But again, like how long does this take? This is a 35 day focus. We can demand Bahrain. That would get us at war with Saudi Arabia. Excavation 1? I, I really don't think that's not something that we need. Nuclear tech, also probably not something that we need. You know what? Let's get naval invasion. I'm sure we're going to want it a little bit. Let's say you guys here. You at least have all of your equipment now. Oh, because you probably took it from uh, Afghanistan. Yeah, fantastic. Somebody was also saying in the comments that you probably don't need this many decent divisions and just having a handful of kind of trash let's just take like actually like a 10 width we'll have like a cheaper 10 width infantry will make you into uh this logo and you can have the slightly longer rifle there we go we'll save you as infantry template one that should mean we can probably play like six of you and you might be useful for our naval invasion force because we push into uh, Af uh, Saudi Arabia here, navally invade down in this location, and then kind of push our way up. Are you guys still... Yeah, I mean, you're still on convoy rating. How big is your navies? Zero ships, 10 to 24. So we, we should be okay for our naval power and the rivalry. So that's going to take 50 days. So if that's going to take 50 days, is there anything I can do... 35 days, 35 days, 56, 56, well, how, many, how, many, how many days do you have left? Well, it's 50 days until you're at war. So if I can do something, like 56 days, and then on top of that, then do one of you, that would mean that we would be 41 days into... Egypt's war with Afghanistan, or Egypt's war with Ethiopia. So I think we just don't do a national focus for right now. Division. You know what? Training time. Now we have our equipment. I'm going to do tra army training. Like, I never choose it. But I do think with our war with Afghanistan finished, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.